estamos aquí con Really Difficult for a Spanish Man, <laughs> Clan Kanzler. Wow, that was incredible. Wow, big respect. <laughs> the best time in Spain that uh, that someone so um, how how do you how do you say it? Yeah, Klang Künstler. Klang Künstler. Yeah, wow, that was, sounded really German. <laughs> wow, big respect. Thank you. It's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, I know. When I started making music, I didn't think about it that maybe one day I play outside of Germany. So I just do the German name. Yeah. <laughs> well, how was tonight uh, playing here in Medusa? We were 60,000 people tonight in this festival. Yeah. Uh, you did an amazing set. <laughs> Thank you so much. Full of energy. <laughs> Everyone was vibing. So <laughs> how did you feel? I really, really loved it. Yeah, it was so much fun. In Spain, I always feel at home. I feel such a close connection to the people. Right. And I love the, the energy of the Spanish people so much. Really, it's like my second home. Yeah. What do you think about um, the techno scene now? Uh, everyone is like, I think it's everything is booming on the techno scene. How do you feel it like, a, yeah. like an artist? I think you need to like look, look at it from separate sides. I mean, There, I, there's still underground music in the techno scene, but of, of course, there's also a part of the techno scene which is becoming really big and almost like EDM yep. kind of. Um, yeah, I think there's still something for everybody. You just need to look a bit more precisely where you go, to which clubs you go, to which events you go, because um, it gets mixed all together. Some underground artists with some more commercial artists. So, um, yeah, it's a very interesting time. Yeah, It's great. I think for the industry is amazing for all the DJs, you know, like there's place for everyone. But also in the techno world, uh, it's always like this mainstream, not mixing with underground. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about uh, about it? Do you like it? Do you feel comfortable um, with it? Like, for, yeah, it's uh, it's such a deep topic. I mean, yeah, I, I think um, there's always a space for everything, and um, the. You always also need to see something positive, even in the bad things. Where, where for example, if you think something is getting commercial, um, you can see it from the positive side that maybe new people get get attracted to this music, sure. and maybe one year later they find about the more underground stuff. Yeah, they and do a deep dive of something exactly, and, yeah. and find other things, right? Of course, um, the bad side is that when something gets commercial, that the quality is goes down because it's yeah. We're, we're, With commercial com commercialism, there always the quality goes down. That's yep. that's for sure. But at some point, the boom is over, and then something new is coming. And that's like uh, all with all genres, it happened. It happened with tech house, happened with deep house, and uh, it will also happen with techno. Um, but yeah, it's 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 really interesting to look back to the history, and um, and I think the history also repeats itself. Yeah. Sure. What do you think about uh, you've been? Uh, around for a while, traveling the world, uh, making a lot of people happy and dancing and going on an amazing trip. Um, what do you think about the Spanish crowd and uh, the different crowds? What do you think about it? Yeah, sp uh, Spanish crowd is for me is really one of the best in the world. Like amazing. They have so much energy and even to the last minute of the party, I feel like in Spain, The closing is like the, <laughs> the holy grail. Right. Uh, like uh, it, it, it's, I love it so much that the people have so much energy, and um, yeah, it's it's incredible. Really, it's uh, pl playing in Spain for for an artist. Uh, it's 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 just a gift. It's a really thank you, big thank gift. Thank you. Thank um, you. How do you prepare a set like this one that you've done tonight in in Medusa? Just yeah. for the people to know. The preparation of a DJ, the artist uh, yeah. side. I mean, like this was a bit different to other sets because normally on festivals you don't play three hours. Normally it's on a festival it's like one and a half, maximum two hour sets. And then I also played a super early slot. So today I um, I started much slower BPM, a bit more groovy. Uh, what, which BPM did you start? I started 146, I think, and then I went up to 154. Um, and and you started at 146. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, but because it was the opening, was still... <laughs> <laughs> the, the fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> the, the sun was still out and I didn't want to just go super hard from the beginning. And um, But like normally I just make folders which which have different energy levels. 
it's not like that I prepare a special set only for a specific uh, gig, but I have folders which like warm up, hard groove, old school techno, hard techno. And so uh, you just uh, kind of structure the set as you know, like as you see the crowd, as yeah, you see the vibe. I, I go with the flow and I don't prepare anything. Um, I just think about the intro. For example, today uh, I played an intro with a Spanish vocal, which I created. Um, yeah, great. Uh, and I, I cut the vocal out of uh, out of, out of um, Spanish um, uh, series, and um, that these are kind of things, little things which I prepare. Yeah, like a cool thing that engages with the crowd, right? Yeah, exactly. But uh, to prepare the full set would be a bit boring, just standing there and to know re. It's like going to the cinema when you know the end the end of the movie. You know, you don't want to, you don't want that. going in a first date knowing that you know like yeah. You need, yeah, you need yeah. to yeah exactly yeah. you want to feel the excitement of yeah of course yeah, of yeah. course um uh, i saw your set it was amazing <laughs> thank you there was like a lot of people <laughs> having fun there um in your um uh, in that uh, scenario it will be richie Houting tonight fatima haji yeah um a lot of great djs yeah it's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, it's such a pleasure to play here. I'm uh, I'm I, I I'm so blessed and um, yeah, especially uh, this this lineup. Uh, I love Fatima. I love Richie. It's uh, it's amazing. All amazing artists. And um, yeah, it's, it, the stage the stage production looked also amazing. That's also something that's really important for me. I also care a lot about lights and how the stage looks, and uh, also that that some people could go on stage and have fun there. I love that so much because that's really where on the it's festival. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. How's your summer been? Uh, where, what are you going? You're going to Switzerland tomorrow? Yeah. Or you're so going from now Switzerland? I go, now I go to Portugal. I play at another festival there. Then tomorrow a street parade uh, in Switzerland. And then on Sunday, uh, Amnesia and Ibiza. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me something just to finish the, this podcast with you um, about Ibiza. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the island has a specific magic, right? Um, and I, I'm, I'm really happy to play there and see that there are also people coming for faster techno. Uh, I, if, if somebody would have told me that like two years or three years ago, I would have said never, that's not possible. But um, it's so nice to see, especially uh, like at Pyramid um, Amnesia, the, the, yeah. the main room, it's incredible. And um, no, I'm 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 so happy to see that the music and your Spanish. Ah, uh, I can only say nos vemos. Uh, <laughs> gracias. Mañana. <laughs> mañana is uh, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Nos yeah. vemos mañana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y yeah, gracias yeah. a todos. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Dankeschön. Yeah. Muchas gracias. <laughs> gracias. Gracias. Grande. Grande.